Hello, this is Kenneth Baxter from the University Archives. In this presentation, I'm going to be saying a little bit about the history of accountancy at Dundee, the edited highlights, if you like. Now, as you probably know, this year, the Department of Accountancy and Finance is having a big celebration to mark its 50th anniversary. And we're glad that we are able to be a part of that. But in actual fact, the teaching and story of accountancy at Dundee goes back a lot further. We need to step back to University College Dundee as it then was before the First World War. Now, the teaching of law had started at University College by this time, but a number of the students who were taking law classes were students who were training to become chartered accountants. This included the gentleman you see pictured here, Sidney Herbert Stephen. Now, Sidney Herbert Stephen is a name that is fairly well known in Dundee, along with that of his brother Harvey as they were both killed while serving with the 4th Black Watch, Dundee's own battalion, in the Great War. Sidney was decorated with a military cross for his services in early 1915, before sadly falling on the first day of the Battle of Luz later that year. This training of accountants doing law classes would last for many years, and if you want to know more about the early days, of law and accountancy, then I'd point you in the direction of Robin White's history of the law school that appeared a few years ago. It's the 1950s, however, that starts to transform the teaching of accountancy in Dundee and really leads to the creation of the department and the sort of programmes we know today. The story really begins with the Institute of Chartered Accountants for Scotland wanting to change how CA apprentices were educated. They wanted them to do not just part-time classes, but a full-time university course where they would attend classes on mercantile law, economics, both of which obviously were taught at Dundee, and a specific class on accountancy. And Queen's College Dundee, as the university college had then become, still a part of the University of St Andrews, the law faculty looked at this proposal and this led to the start of an accountancy class. And indeed, there is a certificate marking this special class and the relationship with the Char Institute of Chartered Accountants of Scotland, uh, which lasted as a result until we got the development of honours classes which superseded it. This certificate is still on display in the department today. One thing to come out of that was the recommendation that there should be a part-time member of staff to just teach accountancy. And this quickly expanded. And by 1969, it was decided there should be a professor of accountancy. And we can see in the university calendar, uh, it specifies that this chair was founded in 1969. However, the first calendar doesn't have any holder because the post, although advertised in 1969, was not filled until a further round of advertisements in 1970. And the person appointed was Professor Robert Parker. Now, Bob Parker, who was in his late 30s, was already a fairly well-known accountancy scholar at the London School of Economics. And he would go on to have a distinguished career at Dundee and beyond. Uh, here we see him pictured with some of his colleagues on a return to Dundee many years later. Uh, now, Bob Parker sadly passed away in 2016, but his legacy really lives on in the thriving department of today. Now, we see in the early days, as well as Professor Parker, we had Gordon Loudon as the senior lecturer, uh, pictured in the black and white photograph there. And we also had various other lecturers. These include Lee Parker, who's pictured with Bob Parker at the reunion, and Ian Simon, who's also in that picture. And these will be names that are familiar to many accountancy alumni uh, and all made great contributions. Of course, we can't talk about the study of accountancy and business at Dundee without talking about the old Dundee School of Economics, which was at Bell Street. Now, that had become part of Queen's College when Queen's College came into existence in 1954, uh, the official incorporation of the DSE taking place in 1955. Now, 
the old DSE had first become home to what was then called social sciences. But eventually, this is where law would be based. And it was in the early years that accountancy would be there. Now, of course, being in Bell Street away from the Moon University campus was not ideal. And so it was that in 1974, accountancy moved out and moved in to one Perth Road which we can see there. 1 to 3 Perth Road having originally been the University Library and, in 1 Perth Road's case, the Students' Union. Now, Dundee had for ages been trying to get a bigger Students' Union. Uh, that is a whole saga. But in 1974, it finally got it. The Union moved out and accountancy could move in to the home, which it has stayed in to this day. Now, we can't talk about the history of accountancy at Dundee without talking about the second professor who would succeed Bob Parker in 1976. This is, of course, Professor John Grignier. His contribution to the university and the development of accountancy cannot be understated. Again, a very distinguished scholar, as was his brother Peter, who he's pictured with here. Um, Peter never taught at Dundee, but did come to give the odd lecture. Of course, he all had a distinguished career with our good friends across the water at St Andrews, among other universities. The article we see here comes from the university magazine Contact and is written fairly early in John Greer's term at Dundee. And it shows just how important accountancy was becoming in a short space of time. Uh, it was increasing rapidly in the number of students. The number of degrees related to it were increasing rapidly. Of course, it was covering a number of faculties because it was in the Faculty of Law, but students from other faculties, particularly social science and letters, as then was what would become arts and social science, were also taking classes. And it was branching out in different areas. Accountancy, of course, being very complementary with a variety of subjects. As I've said, John Grenier's contribution to accountancy at the university can't be understated. He really made a tremendous, tremendous contribution. But he also made a, a really big contribution to the university as a whole. He eventually became deputy principal, uh, as well as being the Dean of Faculty and Law of Accountancy at other points. Uh, and it was thanks to him that accountancy at Dundee really became one of the leading centres in Scotland, if not Britain. Uh, and he himself, we can see as it stays in this article from the time of his retirement, uh, was a really prolific researcher uh, and in 1992 was ranked first in Scotland uh, for his accountancy research and second in the United Kingdom as a whole, which is a tremendous achievement, particularly given his other commitments. If we look through the archives, a sign a subject is doing well is often when we look in the prospectuses. And we can see in the university prospectuses over the years that accountancy section just grows and grows and becomes more colourful and also more and more options. And this really reflects the fact that accountancy is a booming subject right from the 70s through to the present day that attracts a lot of students and attracts students from different parts of the university, as I've said. Another way we can almost tell how well a new subject is doing is when we look at the old university calendars at the number of chairs and staff it has. Now, this is one of the last printed university calendars. The university stopped printing the calendars early in the 21st century. But from one chair, which was created in 69 and first filled in 1970, we go on to have several other chairs in related subjects like business finance, like management and accountancy. And this just shows how the subject grew and expand it did. Now, we're lucky to have a lot of different photographs in the archives as well relating to accountancy, some of which have kindly been presented to us this year by the staff who have been undertaking fabulous research into the history to make these 50th anniversary celebrations. And I'm sure uh, some of these will bring back memories to alumni. That said, we're always delighted to have more photographs and material relating to departments. So if you've got any accountancy 
business finance material that you think we don't have and would like to share with the archives, we'd be very delighted to have it. So accountancy today clearly is a subject that is still a big part of the university's success story. Um, as you may know, it's almost unique in that all six UK bodies that award accountancy accreditation can have the account, that accreditation awarded via the courses at Dundee. In 2020, we were voted number one in Scotland for finance degrees and our number of alumni continues to grow. And of course, one of the original ideas right back in 1881 when University College Dundee was founded was that it and its ultimate successors should play a useful role in the community. That was also the aim of the Dundee School of Economics and accountancy has very much done that and I think we can be really proud of it. I hope you've enjoyed this short video and it's been a delight to talk about accountancy.